Greetings Space Rangers, welcome to another video. Now this video we're going to sort of theorize what could happen in this new Buzz Lightyear movie. As we're going to get a trailer really soon, I'd be interested to see what kind of plot would this film going to be, where this is going to take place, and what is Buzz's role in this movie, because we know he's going to be the main central character. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and press the bell icon to notify for my next videos. Alright, let's get back to the video. So, I believe the plot will sort of take place in the early stages of Starkman and Buzz's sort of career. He is sort of the rookie space ranger, a very opposite version of how Buzz Lightyear Starkman was because he was more like a mentor and, you know, this great legendary space ranger. Everyone respected Buzz, but I think in this movie, no one really respect Buzz. Everyone sort of see he's just this puny kind of character. Very similar to Captain America First Avengers, so I know this relates to sort of Chris Evans' sort of role, but I thought they're going to kind of go with that kind of direction. So I think Buzz will sort of go to like a hero's journey story. You know, very similar to how Luke did in The New Hope. You know, he was just inexperienced farm boy, and this sort of adventure happens to him where the, you know, Obi-Wan guys and become a Jedi, and in Return of a Jedi, he's like this legendary Jedi Knight. And I think Buzz is going to have a very similar kind of arc. And obviously Pixar and Disney, you know, they want to reference Star Wars and a lot of sci-fi movies in this film because this is going to be Pixar's very first like sort of sci-fi genre. And they're going to get pull most inspiration of a lot of the sci-fi movies out there. Now during Buzz's big adventure, this can tie into the big villain to this film. Evil Emperor Zerg. Now Zerg will be a perfect foe for Buzz, you know, he'll be the main threat of whatever his mission was and this sort of introduced a rivalry between Buzz versus Zerg. You know, if we're going to take Buzz in his origin early days, this can introduce the, maybe the early days of Zerg or Zerg's always been this massive threat to Starkband and Buzz is like the only one who stops him. And I don't think they're going to do what Toy Story 2 did. I know he's like, they said Zerg was Buzz's father and that's just a nod or a joke for Empire Strikes Back. But I think we're going to get a much more darker, evil version of Zerg, not this kind of humorous what we got in Toy Story 2. We're going to see really scary things with this character and I think this will be pretty cool. Now, during the final act, I believe Buzz will end up being the heroic character and Ava tried to sacrifice himself from maybe Zerg's threat. This is Buzz's time to shine and this is how it's all going to end, but everyone's going to look up to Buzz and see this iconic hero and what he did to save people. And obviously from the beginning he wasn't respected and now everyone believes this guy is like a legend. And obviously this will obviously introduce Zerg's grudge but stopping his threat and this is why Zerg always hated Buzz, and Buzz is now this iconic hero, this superhero, this saviour. Like my other theory ending, I think the real ending will obviously going to introduce back to the Toy Story world, and maybe all of this was from a perspective of Buzz's mind, or a show Andy's been watching, and this is kind of give a very sad theme that none of this was actually real, and Buzz is kind of sad and I wish he was that hero. And Woody sort of cheers him up and saying that being a kid's toy or being there for your kid is a bigger hero than anyone can, can do or can be. Anyway guys, what do you guys think? Do you like this plot? Or do you have another plot for Lightyear? What do you think should happen? Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the trailer because the trailer is going to be coming out in November. There's already been some Lego leaks set and I'm really looking forward to some of the merchandise. I'm definitely going to try to collect some and definitely review some in my channel. Stay tuned for more of my videos. Look forward to the live action Toys for 2 project. And please subscribe to Infinity and Beyond.